Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Now I am at the main farm and today I received in the mail two new aux beam lights. Now what I'm going to be using these for, or at least one of them, I'm not, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the other one yet. But the first light I'm going to mount on my grain cart that I just bought. And the reason I got a new light for it is because the one that's on there is kind of dim in my opinion. Um, as you can see, it's mounted there on the arm of the grain cart. And the purpose for that light is so that when you're unloading, you can see into the semi or wagon or whatever you're unloading into so you can see how full it is, so you know when to stop. So uh, yeah, I got those new lights and I'm gonna mount one right there. So I'm gonna close the shed door and we're gonna take a look at just how dim it is. Um, I'm not really too sure. I've, this is only the second time I've hooked them up and used them. And we got to work on the wiring too. Um, we got to figure out why it won't work on the 82 yet. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the deal is there, but um, it works on the 76 and we haven't tried it on the 46 yet. So um, we got to take a look at that before this fall and um, yeah, get that working properly. But I got the 76 hooked up to it now. So that way I can test it and then make sure that I hooked it up right and everything and to test how bright it is and how bright it will be. So I'm gonna shut the shed door and just see how bright it is. Okay, so I just shut the shed door. I'm gonna turn on the lights in the 76 because that's how it's hooked up in this tractor. So when you turn on the lights for the tractor, the light on the auger on the green cart will turn on. So there we got our road lights for the tractor, with the flashers. And there we got the light and shining on the side of the shed there. So it's fairly bright. Shut off the side lights. I can't, okay. There we go, okay. There. So you kind of get an idea for how bright it'll be. Kind of dim, but in all reality, it kind of matches the brightness of the tractor's lights. So I'm gonna go open up the shed door again, take that light off there and start mounting the aux beam light. Now in the box came two of these lights, pretty heavy quality, two mounts, and then the wiring harness. But I'm thinking I won't need this wiring harness, it comes with a push button. Um, I'm gonna mount it up directly onto the pre-existing wiring on the grain cart. Which is handy for me because then I don't have to deal around, deal with this stuff and it makes using it easier. All right, so here is our ground wire and here is the power. So you can see it comes up through this bolt in the bottom. I got to take that off there. That taken care of. Now I need to pull these apart. Oh, that was easier than it should have been. Let's go have a look. This light's still in pretty good condition, but we'll keep it on the side just in case we need it for any reason. So here we got the aux beam light. Similar size, slightly smaller, but I'm gonna bet a heck of a lot brighter. All right, so we got our two wires here, power and ground. And I need to figure out how I'm gonna mount them up. There we go. And you know what? I think I'm going to rob the ground wire off of this. Now that I got the mount on there, let's go make sure it's at least gonna work. Oh yeah. We have power. Uh, if you can see that, that's pretty bright. <laughs> Joe. 
should be here. Like so. Neat. Or Tommy. Wait, wait, yeah. Keep blowing. What will that? Sweet. Okay, here goes our first test of the new light on the auger. brighter that's it for this video guys now we saw that the light looked really bright in the shed compared to the standard old halogen but we'll see just how good it is this fall when we go to harvest with it so um yeah if you guys are interested in these lights check out the link down in the description aux beam um right now i'm not exactly sure which ones they are but uh they work very very well compared to your standard old halogen um and i'm very impressed impressed with aux beam and I'll probably be purchasing more lights in the future. So, um, yeah. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. So, uh, I'll see you next time, guys.